dating and, and like in his events like we weren't dating but then also he like, said he's he said he broke up with you because you started like punching him Ugh, I don't because I, we weren't dating and, and like in his events like we weren't dating but then also he like, said he's he said he broke up with you because you started like punching him first let's examine Ethan Ethan he's not afraid to challenge her that look on his face he just threw that bomb out there he said that you hit him and he just kind of puts that out there and he just looks at her and her reaction is to look at Moses. That look that she gives Moses says a lot. Now, it is my opinion. You can leave in the comments what you think this look means. To me, she cannot believe that Moses told Ethan. She didn't know that. She didn't see this one coming. But this right here, she did not have the time to prepare for. She didn't know it was coming. Moses didn't tell her that he told anybody, especially not Ethan. So this is a bomb that just went off. He's shaking his head no. Ah, the smile returns. He's shaking his head no. Now this is all allegation because he doesn't have proof. But he said, Moses told me you hit him. She could answer and said, no, I did not hit him why would he even say that remember before she's like oh no i didn't i didn't write you that text message i didn't do this I... now she just looks at moses and says he's shaking his head no ethan you need proof oh, okay tell me how i died laughing that look yeah okay i took that yeah okay like oh okay we're gonna play that game oh okay we're gonna pretend it didn't happen okay yeah yeah, okay. Yeah, it didn't happen. As in, yes, it did happen. Ethan shoots Moses a look. Because right now, Moses just lied. Ethan says, Moses told me this. Trish looks at Moses, and Moses shakes his head no. So Ethan is like, okay, now, what? You're, you're calling me a liar? Is that what you're doing? Ethan is looking at Moses. And it's like, you know what? You guys are now in a relationship. I know what you told me. But your girl is here and you're going to play it off like you didn't tell me anything. You're going to make me the bad guy. Okay, okay. I'm going to drop it. Because right now, Ethan's only proof that this happened is for Moses to say, yeah, I did tell him that. Moses could say, oh, you know what? I did tell him that, but you know what? I, I lied or, you know, it wasn't true. You know, I shouldn't have said that. But he, he says, no, I, 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 didn't, I didn't tell Ethan that. So what? Ethan just made it up? You, you said I could say everything. You said I can say everything so what's the problem now she's making that face again like what is up with that face Trisha I expected better from you that's the face of like yo I've just been put on blast I've just been put on front street oh my goodness oh Moses you are in for it okay it's just an allegation right now right you know it's two people's words one you know moses denied it so come on trisha you can pull something out of here i did not punch him <laughs> boom she said i did not punch him that's a firm denial moses said he didn't say that and trisha backed it up and said i did not punch him she's all like what are you talking about like this so did not happen look at ethan ethan is like not taking his eyes off of her like okay so I like this inspection because she's going like, it's, she says, I did not punch him. And like, like so bewildered, like where would this even come from? I did not punch him. Her voice is all high. So, okay, she didn't punch him. Those are the two people who are in the room. He said he didn't say anything to Ethan. So Ethan is obviously delusional. And Trisha is straight up saying she did not punch him. You said that's why you broke up with me because I punched you? Even though he said he didn't say it and Ethan is not pushing the issue, she believes Ethan. 
because it did happen, right? Well, allegedly. Because if it didn't happen and then her boyfriend is at the time it said it 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 didn't happen, he didn't say anything to Ethan. Why is she saying, "Oh, is that what what you told him why you broke up with me?" So she's believing Ethan. Because she could have said to Moses, like, oh my goodness, look at Ethan lying on you. Like, why would Ethan make up that lie? She believed him because she fully asked Moses. That's what you told him. That's the reason you told him you broke up with me. <laughs> I tried using closed captioning. I thought he said something, but then the more I'm listening, I hear something else. So I don't want to say I know for sure. What do you think he said right right there? What do you think Moses just said? To me, he said something to the effect of he can't really say right now. Something like that. She asked him a direct question and it's like he didn't want to say yes or no. That's why she's having this reaction right now. Uh, she's upset. <laughs> I went like this. Okay. So whatever he said, like, uh, I cannot confirm or deny, whatever he said, now she has to admit because she believes that Moses did tell Ethan that's the reason why he broke up with her. He, she believes it because she asked him, like, that's what you told him. And he answered in her in such a way that it's like an admission that it did happen. Remember, she said, I did not punch him. And now she's saying, I just went like this. And so she, it looks like she slapped Ethan on the arm. And he's frail. But I didn't punch him. It and he's frail. And Ethan agrees. So that, doesn't that make it worse? Why mention he's frail? Because she's like, I just went like that. Like if it was something insignificant. But then she says, oh, but he's frail. So I think in her way, she's explaining why there's allegedly a picture going around with bruises on Moses' arm. So she's saying he's frail because even like a little tap or a little slap like that, because he's frail, it's going to leave a bruise. Not that I punched him so hard it left a bruise on his body days after. I just slapped him. I just tapped. She didn't even say what she did. She just kind of showed it like just a, like a little tap. And he's frail. Can I? Okay. If you want to, fine. If you're going to fucking, if you're leaving this in, I'm going to have to say the full fucking story because what happened, if you're leaving this in, that's the thing. She wants it to be edited out. Look at Ethan's face. Ethan did not move. I love when Ethan like calls people to task. Like, I'm giving you the rope. Please do what you want with it. Okay, Trisha, please explain to me why you just admitted right now that you, whatever that action she did to Ethan, tell me why you did that to Moses. Explain. Because I'm sure you have a rational reason as to why you did whatever to Moses' frail arm. Please explain it. That's the one thing about Trisha. She has this need to tell everybody everything about herself because she wants to get ahead of the story. Is that we were like <laughs> upstairs and I took his phone. I saw like other DMs to girls. What I heard was I took his phone. She put in there, oh, he had other DMs to girls. All that is irrelevant. What I heard first was, I took his phone. Reverse the situation. A woman has her phone and her jealous or paranoid boyfriend says, give me the phone. I want to see if you're talking to people. And you're like, no, no, no. And then he takes the phone from her and starts going through the phone. You don't take people's phone. That's when the problem started right there. Why are you taking his phone to then see DMs to then get mad about? He like, tack not tackle me, but like we went to the floor. She said tackle, he tackled me. Then she goes, well, no, he didn't tackle me. We went to the floor. Remember, this is a frail man. She said he's frail. And she said he tackled, no, we went to the floor. She took his phone and did she drop to the floor? And so if he's trying to get the phone from you, he falls as well. She was just like, we went to the floor. How'd you get there? Did you drop to the floor? And so then I like punched back, right? What do you mean punch back? You didn't, where was the part where he punched you first? So you punched back. Like the fact that she said, and I punched back as if he was doing anything to her because she wanted to say tackled he tackled but then she took that away then she said we fell to the floor okay so that's both of you falling to the floor so why are you saying you punched back 
Just say you punched. So now is the first time she's using the word punch. She did punch him. Because what she said now is, and then I punched him. Never punched him. I wasn't like, hey, you piece of shit. Like, I wasn't like that. You guys had a tussle? Like, but then she took it away. She goes, well, well, I didn't punch back. I didn't, I didn't do it like, like in that way, like you piece of Like, I didn't do it like that. He had a bruise. Hmm. Remember how at the beginning before she said, I'm going to tell the whole story. Remember how she just playfully slapped Ethan's arm like it happened this way. Remember, that was the first story she told. There's evidence of bruising. She, now she's like, oh, let me just say everything that happened. So nobody has anything against me. OK, okay that, that little slap story doesn't make any sense. Because again, like she admits now there's bruising. So she's going to have to tell what really happened. And I don't even think that's everything that happened. But what she said is bad enough. And so, of course, he's like, oh, my God, like, look. Oh, uh, you see that? She said, he says, look, like, look at my bruises. Did he even start bruising like that same? Well, he was there a long time. So I guess enough for the bruising to start developing. She took away his phone. Then she hit him hard enough to leave bruising. And I was just like, I didn't do it, like, on purpose. I wasn't like... Can I just say, too, I like the way that she, like, punch, pretend to punch Ethan in the face, and, like, he didn't, like, move. He's just solid. Like, he's not even gonna duck or, like, flinch. He was just like, yeah, okay. I just like that part. That, you know what I mean? It was a tough You guys were fighting over his phone? So, you just admitted to hitting your boyfriend enough to leave bruising on his frail body, as you said. Because now you're seeing it, so I'm just repeating what you said. There's going to be some kind of what justification or how are you going to turn this around because you just admitted to hitting your partner let's see oh my god well then i took his keys and so he's trying to get the keys back <sighs> but can i say yes how long do we fight for the keys like 12 hours yeah. off and on wow. basically 12 hours of fighting <laughs> 12 hours he wanted his keys to leave and you were fighting him for his own keys for 12 hours you took his phone you took his keys and you punched him enough for him to have bruise bruising and you said this went on for 12 hours <sighs> when you really think about it that's horrible how can she turn this around but I had him, like, I was putting all my weight on it on the bed, like, to, like, not let him get it. Because I'm like, okay, all my weight's on it. He's not going to be able to get the keys. And <laughs> literally, we just started, like, fucking. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are so crazy. How is this? I don't understand. Twice! And I was like, oh, maybe this is the key. Because we never did it like that. I was just, like, bent over, like, like standing. And I was just like, oh. And then he all put his pants down. And we just started fucking. Ew. And I was like, oh. Moses, what is wrong with you? God. You need, you need okay, you guys don't even understand what she's doing here. She's justifying what happened because they were intimate during this 12 hours she's going to put in there is to say, oh, it wasn't torture. I didn't torture him. I didn't kidnap him. I didn't hold him against his will because we, we were intimate during this. He wanted it. It was fine. It was, it was not an issue. It's not as bad as you guys may seem. Couldn't have hit him that hard. He, he, we were still intimate. Yeah, I had his keys, but he had fun while he was in my house, so it couldn't have been that bad. You better hope, Moses, she doesn't change that story around because she could. The point is, obviously, and also we weren't dating, so I don't know why he said we, he broke up with me because of that. We weren't no, dating. No, he, he said he called it off after it got, after... The tussle, I guess. It wasn't abuse. Oh, my God. It wasn't like I punched him and like you. Look, I, it wasn't abuse. Why? Because you're a woman. If that's not abuse, what is abuse? You admitted to holding him, taking his phone, keys, keeping him there for 12 hours. And you admitted to hitting him enough that he bruised, arguing because he's texting people or you're seeing DMs. But it's not abuse. So if that is not abuse, please tell me what is abuse, because I am now confused. No, Moses, see, he's he wouldn't he wouldn't endure that. He wouldn't get back with you. I want to say now here's Ethan cleaning it up for her because she was doing a bad job of it, and so he's gonna clean it up, but with 
men getting abused by their female partners not being seen as anything because it's like Moses is a man he could just overpower her or he could leave or he he doesn't have to stay in that relationship he could have left her and type the men who experience abuse have to listen to people dismiss it and the men themselves dismiss it as well because you see that Moses is kind of brushing it off like it wasn't anything he got back together with her and he's moving past it so Ethan is just gonna toe the line as well I yeah. I don't I don't want to paint it as like he's Moses is in an abusive relationship. He's a self sufficient. You guy. just did. No, I- you just told us what happened. All Ethan did was say, "This is what Moses told me." You played it off like it was just a little love tap, and then he wasn't gonna say. He was like, "Yeah, okay." He wasn't even gonna go further with it because again, he couldn't pull out his phone. He didn't have any proof. Trisha, you're the one who divulged the whole entire story, and now you're gonna be like, "You did you." You're making it seem like I'm abuser. No, Trisha. <laughs> Based off what you said is why people will have their impression that you're an abuser. Not what Ethan said. Ethan just said Alec, said what Moses told him. It, it was hearsay. <laughs> you admitted to it. You admitted to it and more. I don't even think Moses gave Ethan all those details. Ethan just let you talk yourself into giving away everything. I had physically like hit Moses in the arm out of a rage and a fight um, really early on in our relationship. Actually, we weren't even dating yet. Just when we were hanging out or whatever. I'm just trying to understand what happened because I've been getting a lot of grief (laughs) from you. I'm just trying to understand. I love it. (laughs) Because Ethan is like, this is what you get for bothering me all those months ago, texting me nonstop about Moses, okay? This is what you get. This is everything you said to me. So here, this this is what I'm putting out now. A word of advice, especially if you're going to get back with a person, you're still in love with the person. Stop. Don't tell people your relationship problems. Because the worst is when you do all of that and then you get back together with the person and then now you're mad that people are bringing it up. Don't bring people into your problems, your relationship problems. And then get mad that they, they remember everything you told them about your significant other. <laughs> and what's trying going to, like, on? Because now you guys are buying a house together. Yeah. We're good. We're good to go. Oh my God. No, <laughs> Ethan, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> You think you can do that to Trisha and walk away with your head still attached to your body? No, I don't think so. She said everything. She just let it all out there. But she is pissed at Ethan. You guys do not understand. And and Trisha's mind is working now because this is war. Ethan, you don't even know. This is war. You don't even have a helmet on. You don't even see that Trisha has a knife in her purse you don't even see that she has a shield underneath the desk Ethan you don't know what's coming it's like a a sleeper cell you think everything is fine and then boom I'm just saying I know everything about I know a lot even about like your I just know everything about your family and stuff so anyways there's nothing to know about my family I'm just saying I know a lot so are you trying to like threaten me no I just know a lot